dive into the intricate tapestry of determinism, from Heraclitus's profound insights to the stark realities of its modern application, a journey of discovery and reflection. Diving right into the heart of the matter, let's embark on our exploration of determinism, a significant philosophical concept that advocates for a universe ruled by laws of cause and effect. Imagine this, each event, each outcome, tightly knit into a continuous chain of previous actions, making our world become something akin to a cosmic domino chain. This belief is what centers determinism. Millennia ago, the ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus instilled this concept in his observation of the world, emphasizing that the universe is in an incessant state of flux, a literal river of change. The idea of determinism, influenced by Heraclitus's observations, has triggered a ripple effect, intriguing us, shaping our ethics, and leaving a profound impact on the study of physics. It spurred philosophers to chronicle the chain of events that shape the universe, our world, and ourselves. By allegorically connecting the dots, determinism illuminates the relationship between actions and their ramifications. Through understanding determinism, it's conceivable that we can develop a holistic understanding of not just the cosmos we're a part of, but perhaps more pertinently, the repercussions of our actions within it. As a result, the compelling philosophy of determinism, in its bid to connect cause and consequence, instills in us a more informed ability to forge our destinies. Anchoring our understanding in antiquity, Stoicism emerged with Zeno of Sidium around 300 BCE, decreeing deterministic acceptance of fate. Stoicism's fabric is woven not of apathy or emotional suppression, but of self-control, taming reactions to external events inside a universe guided by predetermined patterns under natural laws. Consider an analogy with ancient roots, a dog tethered to a cart. The cart's path, fixed and unwavering, representing our inescapable destiny. The dog, much like ourselves, is presented with a choice. We can strain against our constraints, enduring discomfort, or we can run alongside, perfectly adjusted to the pace set by fate. Our responses to these immutable experiences shape our existence. Stoicism persuades us to control our reaction, channel energy into impacting factors within our sphere, hence tranquility stands at the end of the path. This philosophy echoes throughout the centuries. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. It isn't the events that disturb people, but their judgments concerning them. In accepting the inescapable, we find peace. By controlling our reactions, we regain mastery over our existence, a beacon guiding us through life's storm. Enlightenment thinkers like Baruch Spinoza and Pierre-Simon Laplace played paramount roles in fueling deterministic views. Spinoza, a 17th century philosopher, championed a universe ruled systematically by cause and effect, obliterating the notion of randomness. Meanwhile, Laplace proposed an intriguing concept, envisage a demon equipped with knowledge of every atomic position and velocity that could predict the future. Undoubtedly, this line of thinking influenced our perception of determinism, the universe becoming a grand predictable machine. However, the 20th century witnessed the advent of quantum mechanics, providing a platform for probabilities and uncertainties. No longer were particles held in definitive states, but rather probable ones, opposing the universe presented by classical physics. How do these probabilistic revelations affect our deterministic universe? To throw another spanner in the works, modern neuroscience suggests that our behavior may not be solely the consequence of simple cause and effect. Instead, complex brain activities craft our actions, challenging deterministic conceptions of free will. What we have here, then, is a blend of deterministic and probabilistic elements constructing our perception of reality subtly altering our grasp on fate and free will. So are we prisoners of determinism or are indeterminacy and chance at play as well? The Libet experiment, a neuroscience investigation into free will's existence, found a readiness potential in the brain indicating a decision made even before the subject was consciously aware of it. This startling discovery shook traditional philosophical views on free will, sparking intense debates about consciousness, decision-making processes, and their intertwining with determinism. 
As an illustration, consider the simple act of selecting between tea or coffee. While it may seem like an exercise of our free will, determinism asserts that this seemingly autonomous action is predetermined by previous causes. Each behavior, each choice, is essentially pre-shaped by such prior events. This discussion on free will and determinism presents profound ethical implications. Accepting that every action is predetermined could revolutionize our understanding of moral responsibility. If every action, every decision is predetermined, it raises pressing philosophical questions about blame, guilt, and consequence. Therein lies the essence of the ongoing discourse of determinism versus free will, a pulsating debate enticing generation after generation of thinkers. Intersection of Determinism and Legal Theory, a fascinating exploration. Consider this scenario. Psychologically distressed individual A, confronted with a high-stress situation, reacts in a way that results in legal complications. Enter the concept of diminished capacity, a mental incapacity defense founded on deterministic grounds. Here, an individual's mental state impedes their understanding or control of actions, opening a unique legal defense. Individual A, driven by a psychological disorder, couldn't act differently in that particular brain state. Now reflect on how determinism reshapes societal norms. Each court ruling becomes a domino, influencing legal and societal guidelines. Take infamous cases where deterministic defenses have prevailed, altering perspectives on culpability. Should one be penalized for actions determined by complex neural processes we barely understand? Is the path to justice punishment? or perhaps rehabilitation? These provocative questions conjure continuous debate, yet the influence is undeniable. Determinism touches public views on responsibility and fuels discussions among legislators, lawyers, and philosophers alike. Though centuries old, determinism still permeates today's dialogue, forever intertwined with our pursuit of defining morality and justice. As we traverse the deterministic landscape, we confront its transformative influence on personal morality. Allowing determinism to permeate our perception of actions sees our sense of personal accountability evolve. Actions, no longer products of individual free will, but outcomes of inescapable prior events, can lead to a significant shift in our ethical understanding. Step into life through a deterministic lens, and you'll find a compassionate recognition of choice complexity. A misstep no longer carries blame, Rather, it invites understanding of the intricate causal tapestry leading up to it. From an individual's mind to social structures, determinism nudges us toward transformative shifts. Punishment dissolves into rehabilitation as society realizes that actions aren't isolated events, but parts of complex causal chains molded by myriad environmental and biological interactions. This exploration of determinism encourages introspection a reappraisal of customary notions of responsibility, ethics, justice, and societal progress. It's not just a philosophical standpoint, but a prism refracting a novel perspective on life and society. Determinism, the formidable philosophical concept tracing back to Heraclitus and Stoicism, manifests differently across ages and perspectives. Initially perceived as the cosmos intricately linked in a causal chain, it twists and morphs influencing thought and society's progression, reaching into the realm of quantum physics. Concepts of uncertainty and probability, introduced amidst the stir of the quantum revolution, provoke a pivotal paradigm shift, puncturing the facade of a predictable universe and questioning deterministic absolutism. In this complex dance of determinism and indeterminacy, modern neuroscience adds another layer, hinting that our actions, far from simplistic cause-effect responses, are sculpted by intricate cerebral choreographies. Such revelations extend past theoretical physics and neuroscience, nudging the soil of socio-ethical discourse concerning artificial intelligence and genetic engineering. As we probe these technologies, do they magnify or erode deterministic threads? Will they demand a reevaluation of deterministic assertions, instigating a novel turn in its enduring voyage? Such engagements do not merely delve into the hinterlands of determinism. Instead, they unearth how this construct persistently shadows across era, space, and interpretations, invigorating dialogue on free will, justice, ethics, and fate. 
Surely, as the odyssey of determinism unfurls, there's more to anticipate in its labyrinthine entanglements with technology and evolving ethical landscapes.